In part three, you will learn how to capture and analyze remote ICMP data in Wireshark. So what you have to do in step one is start capturing data on the interface again. You don't need to save it. And we will start pinging um, some of the website here listed here, but I will only uh, ping cisco.com and also google.com uh, to compare the result. And um, we will do the same, repeat the activities um, as uh, capturing and analyzing um, local ICMP data in Wireshark. Okay, so I will start by restarting again. So um, I already stop it. Okay, I already stop. So what um, I want to do now is um, start the data capture again. Okay, so we continue without saving. And start pinging. I'll ping two, which is first I will ping uh, www.google.com. And the next is I will um, ping www.cisco.com. So um, guys, even though it says that I need to ping yahoo.com as well, but I will only make a comparison between these two sites. OK, so basically the replies that you get is um, this destination address is 142.250.199.4. So this is the IP address for the Google. And 23.15.104.32, this is the address of um, public IP address for the Cisco.com. Um, mind that if you repeat the pinging process, so you might get different IP address from uh, Google and different IP address from Cisco. This is for security reason, all right? Because they're using the dynamic NAT. Now, let us um, examine the captured packet in the Wireshark. So here, um, like I said, one, 142.250.199.4 is the packet that we get from the from the Google site, Google.com site. So if you notice here, okay, if you notice here, um, so this is our PC, this is destination, and this is the reply. So I will stick on the source. So um, if I were to look at the source address, um, um I guess I don't have to because this is, this is the formation of my PC. Um, let me check the destination address. So in the destination address, so this is the translated IP. Okay, 8EFAC7 8 and 04. And what is the MAC address? So you see here, the MAC address of the destination. Okay, I right click. Copy value. Okay, so I just put this one is for Google. Google my address. So this is the my address. And next, I will capture the MAC address for Cisco website. So you just click on any of the um, send packet to the Cisco website. So here. This is an example, um, 23.15.104.32 is the IP address for the Cisco, so here. Okay, now I'll just click on that. So let me check the uh, MAC address of Cisco destination. Eh? All right, so copy value. So I'll just copy it here. So this is the Cisco address okay now um, let us check the destination address so this is the destination address for Cisco and this is the data for ICMP uh, you need to understand that for the SMP data so it is a mix of the hexadecimal and also the decimal date uh, format yeah so now let us go here 
when you ping the URL, so you notice that the domain name server translate the URL to an IP address. So even though we ping here www.cisco.com, we do not ping IP address, but it the domain name is resolved using DNS server. And then uh, we can stop capturing. OK, I already copied everything uh, OK, because I do not want to capture any more packets. So I'll just uh, click on stop. Um, now. Uh, the step two is examine and analyzing the data. So it asks you to list the destination. So like, for example, the IP address. What is the IP address? 23 dot, uh, sorry, for Cisco. Uh, 23.15.104.32. Uh, so you need to write down. And then there's another information that you need to write down is MAC address. Yeah, so MAC address, MAC address. So I already uh, write down, write down here the information of the MAC address. So this is Google MAC address. The um, is 4CE175B38B and 3F. And Cisco MAC address is also the same, 4CE175B38B and 3F. And if you notice up here, previously, in previous demonstration, I already copied the MAC address of default gateway, which is our LANs interface, our LANs uh, routers interface. So the IP, uh, MAC address is 4CE175.B38B3F. So, you notice even though the IP address of the destination, the remote destination is different, but the MAC address for this destination is the same. Meaning the MAC address of this destination use the MAC address of our default gateway, the LAN's default gateway. So what does, what is significant about this information? The significant about this information is even though the destination IP address is different, but the MAC address will be using the our LAN or local LAN default gateway. So you need to find out at home why. Okay, so you have to you have to write down your answer here. Okay. What is the information about this information and how does this information differ from the local ping information you receive in part one? But what I can say is, okay, I try to help like give him lah. Okay, for part, uh, for the previous part, okay, the local, previous part, we ping the local. So basically, if you are pinging a local machine, so the Destination MAC address will be the actual destination MAC address. But if you are pinging remote machine, remote machine meaning um, the servers of the PC in the public network, so the MAC address of the destination is the uh, MAC address of the default router. But I want you to find out why. Okay. All right, so and then you have to um, answer the reflection question here. OK, so I hope that you understand for if any of you have problem in pinging, so you need to refer Appendix A, which you need to allow ICMP traffic through a firewall. So that's all for today, guys. Assalamualaikum and good day. Bye.